Hello, I'm Jordan. I'm a gas and heating engineer here at Together Housing. And today we're going to show you how to repressurize your boiler. So this is a Worcester boiler with low pressure. The needle is low and down into red, but they don't always come up with a fault code on the Worcester boilers. To repressurize these, underneath there is usually a drip tray, which would contain one white key. Underneath, we will find where the white key fits. And you put this in at a 45 degree angle and then twist so the key faces you slightly pull it down to make sure it's in correctly then you will find the white knob next to it twist that clockwise and you will hit water entering the system also when this happens you will you will see the needle starting to rise when the needle gets around the one mark turn it anti-clockwise until the valve fully closes and that has repressurized. And then once the boiler is repressurized and ready to remove, turn it back to a 45 degree angle. Also, it's good practice to have a cloth ready because when you remove it, there could be a couple of drops of water that come out. Another type of filling link you will come across may not be attached to the boiler, but will be attached to the pipe work underneath the boiler. You will usually find these underneath the boiler connected to the pipe work, like so, or maybe in this position. To repressurize a boiler, turn the handles in line with the valves. To stop the water entering the boiler, turn off again across the valves. If you're having to repressurize your boiler on a daily or weekly basis, there may be a problem that requires further investigation from one of our Together Housing engineers.